Now friends, uh, let's come to the point. Now let's discuss about permutation and combination. So far we have discussed principle of counting and uh, we did good number of problems as well. Now it's time uh, for us to discuss permutation and combination. See maximum students are confused what is the difference between these two terms permutation and combination and where to use permutation, where to use combination and where to use the principle of counting. Right? Uh, see do not go for any sort of ratification in this case I must say because all the terminologies are mutually related to each other right and while solving the problems you don't have to bother which terminology has to be used right you just apply your normal common mathematics sense and you'll be able to do the problem right because while solving the problem you, you don't have to judge whether it's a permutation or a combination you simply have to solve the problem right now exactly what is the difference between these two terms I just let you know right combination means to select right first of all combination is done then permutation is done right now what exact difference is combination is to select just be very clear it is only to select right combination is to select so first of all combinations are done then permutations are done in maximum textbooks and uh, various reference books first of all permutation is explained then combination is explained right so actually first of all combination is done then permutation is uh, done now what is permutation permutation is to select then arrange right so in combination we are just selecting and in permutation we are arranging also after selection we are making the arrangement also now this is the clear difference between these two right now for uh, from uh, our own sense we have to decide whether where is arrangement necessary where arrangement is not necessary right for that no specific knowledge is given or can be given right we just have to apply our common sense right uh, I take one or two uh, very normal day-to-day um, -day life incidents. Now, suppose I am giving a party at a dinner party at my place, right? And I have 25 friends, right? 25 friends. Just listen to me very carefully. I have 25 friends, right? And out of these 25 friends, I just want to call 10 persons, 10 friends for my party right now what is the event out of these 25 friends I have to select 10 right I am not asking about any specific 10 persons I am just I just want to choose random 10 persons that means I have to select 10 persons from these 25 uh, friends right so I need to make the combinations of 10 friends all the combination of 10 friends from these 25 friends right so this is what it's strictly to select right only selection right now suppose take another example I have three friends maybe or uh, maybe four friends just take a smaller data and uh, suppose these are a B C and D now I wish to go to a movie and I wish to take two persons with me right two persons with me right I'm the fifth one I uh, wish to take two persons now I have to select two persons uh, from these uh, four people now what will be the combinations a b a c a d b c b d c D. So I got all the combinations. I can take A B also A B and uh, sorry A C then A D then B C then B D and C D. So in all I have six combinations of two friends, right? So I can take any combination, right? So here what I'm doing, I'm just strictly selecting, not arranging, because if I'm going to movie and taking suppose bc with me so i won't see the arrangement whether b is coming first with me and c is coming or c is coming first with me then b is coming because this arrangement is irrelevant we three people are going to the movie 
me and these two people right so no arrangement is required at all so strictly it's a problem of combination that means we are just making a selection right so this is what the combination is now in this in this case only we just take uh, what is a permutation what is the arrangement now instead of going to movie suppose i wish to give two prizes that is first prize or second prize right to, to these people right now what will i do first of all out of this six uh, combinations i will select one combination suppose i selected bc now what would happen first prize can go to any one of them and second prize can uh, will go to other person now what i'm doing i'm arranging these two people right b will be first or c will be second i'm sorry b will be first and c will be second or b will uh, c will be first or and b will be second right so this b c this is first this is second or this is first this is second now i am making the arrangement that is b c and c b right in the case of movie i didn't make the arrangement here but in the case of when i have to give the two prizes that two first and second right because first prize can be taken by one person only and second prize can also be taken by one person only so i need to arrange right so this is what i am doing it now in the previous case when i had to make the combination or to uh, selection i had six ways now i selected i had uh, six ways to make the selection then two ways to make the arrangement of first and second prize so it's 12 ways right so i just uh, revise it once again when i, I was uh, going to the movie i had six ways to select two friends with me and when i wish to give uh, prizes that to first and second prizes to these two friends then i have two more ways uh, two ways to do that so 6 into 2 12 ways are there so what we did over here it was purely a selection here it is selection and then arrangement right so this was purely a problem of combination and this problem is combination not only combination but permutation that means we made the selection and then we arranged right this was the selection and this was the arrangement so selection then arrangement that is permutation right and just by the example you must be clear that why arrangement is necessary and where arrangement is not necessary right uh, let's take a few more examples so you will be clear with the with the difference between permutation and combination uh now suppose i have five persons with me these are a b c d and e right and i wish to make a team of two persons uh for um to represent my table tennis team right suppose i am a co uh, like a, a coach in a college so i have to prepare a team of two people now how many combinations do i have it's a b a c a d a e right now b c b d b e then c d c e then d e right so in all i got 10 combinations right that means i'm selecting two persons out of these uh, five people so i am getting 10 combinations of the uh, two persons right so this is what i did selection only it's only selection right now i selected two people out of this um, five people so i did i got the 10 ways to do that now what would happen suppose i am on the playground now and i have to send one people for uh, one people to play right so i have to send one people for playing so, so now i have to make the arrangement right till here i just made the selection of two people right suppose i selected a and e right now till here the selection is done now and i had 10 ways now i have to make arrangement which people to go first right maybe a or e right so i have now two ways to do that getting my point 
for selection i had 10 ways now to make arrangement uh, of the order uh, or the in which order the people should go to the playground i have two ways right so in all first of all selection 10 ways then arrangement of selected people is two ways so in all selection and uh, simultaneously arrangement selection and arrangement both the things are not happening uh, apart both the things are going simultaneously that means both the events are going simultaneously that means selection and arrangement so it's 10 into 2 so it is 20 ways so till here if we have to find out the solution till here then it is strictly selection so it is strictly combination right just be very clear to select to select is combination and till here after this step suppose we have to come for this step then it's a problem of permutation right that means selection and then arrangement selection as well as arrangement is permutation right so we are clear that to select and then here to select and then arrange right so this is what the difference between permutation and combination Permut uh, combination is done first that is to select only then permutation is to select and to arrange right i am sure you are clear uh, between the difference uh, uh, in permutation and combination now let's derive the formula for the same right 